To make an Olympic champion takes millions of young people around the world to be inspired to choose Olympic sport. On behalf of the youth of today, the athletes of tomorrow, we offer London's vision of inspiration and of legacy. The International Olympic Committee has the honour of announcing that the Games of the 30th Olympiad in 2012 are awarded to the city of London. Closer to the starting line. The venues are nearing completion. The training is intensifying. The torch will be travelling with UK. The world is watching. The crowds are gathering. We will soon be getting into our starting points. Ready, prepared, totally focused. On your marks, set. Gamesmakers, please welcome your host for today's event, a BBC radio and TV presenter who has already covered six Olympic Games. Give it up for John Inverdale! It's not just about being on a track and running, it's about the whole Olympic village, it's about 
feeling part of this extraordinary world celebration. It is. It's, it's, it, once you play the team, you, you then when you get into the village, you see all your competitors, you see all your friends, you see your position, um, and to, to, to be involved in a situation of that magnitude is amazing. And you've got to learn how to control your nerves and just try and perform at your best. And what's it like to stand on the podium? Oh, it's it's that's what it's all about. It's about can you get on the roster? Can you get on the roster? But when you get on there, you want to hear that national anthem. But you never got to sing it. For each athlete, getting to the games has taken years and years of dedicated training. But their experience in London starts at the airport with the first games maker to greet them as they arrive in the UK. The games maker may have spent a long day at the airport, but they know how important it is for them to be polite and cheerful hosts at London 2012. A member of the accreditation team is then on hand to validate the athlete's accreditation as soon as they arrive. And these games makers, you can't agree with that saying, but they have to be friendly, calm, and diplomatic, even when the athletes themselves aren't. Believe me, some of them are. Anyway, so then, it, then it's off to the Olympic and Paralympic village. The village is obviously the place from which the athletes go out to compete on the world stage every day. And the games makers have to look The colours, as you can see, purple and poppy. The poppy reflects our Brigadier Guard history. The, the absolute um, prominence of that colour was critical because when you're a games maker, you have to be seen. The poppy reflects our heritage, our royal heritage, the fact that the pomp and ceremony that goes with that. And then we wanted it to be a bit quirky. So you can see the Sergeant Pepper touch, can't you? You can absolutely see that the uniform just brings our history, our heritage, all together in one place. So what I'm going to do is just tell you a bit about the design. Do. So as you can see, we There's have... no stopping it now. It's There's no stopping it now. So as you can see here, we have the epaulets. The epaulets feature on both the t-shirt and the jacket. And these are distinctively designed to ensure that games makers can be seen. Operation also dealing with queries from people like me. We could work hard and hard. All this did. Morning. I'm just coming. I better be going. Okay, Ashley. Thank you very much and have a good day. Thank Don't you. forget to say hello to Ted. Oh, will do. Bye bye. Bye. Well, that's the start of the day for just one of the many. Contractors and paid staff and volunteers working tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure the games are run smoothly. I'm still out there. Now, back to the studio. Well, thank you, At the moment, I'm in the checking area, which is where the games makers first arrive before moving on to assemble for their morning team briefing. And joining me this morning is games maker Andy McHugh. Hi, Andy, come on over and have a chat. Security areas in the airport. Then we go through check. Uh, and then